Apollo 6 was launched on April 4, 1968 at noon UTC from Launch Complex 39A at Cape Canaveral. It was the second and final uncrewed test of the Saturn V rocket, with Apollo 4 being the successful first test. It carried a Command and Service Module, CSM-020, as well as a Lunar Module Mass Simulator dubbed Lunar Module Test Article 2R, which is about 80% of full Lunar Module's mass. The goal was to reach orbit with this payload, then have the S-4B stage restart as it would for a normal lunar mission, and boost to a lunar altitude, though not actually to the moon. Then, the command and service module would separate and immediately do a burn to simulate a direct abort. Things did not go as planned, however. The rocket experienced pogo oscillations, longitudinal oscillations due to a resonance in the rocket, usually caused by engine thrust fluctuations, during the first stage. These oscillations were so severe that 2 minutes and 13 seconds after launch, cameras spotted bits falling off the adapter around the lunar module simulator and attached to the CSM. Eventually, the first stage completed its burn, but then the second stage had issues. The stage had 5 J2 engines, and engine number 2 had a progressive drop in performance starting 3 minutes and 45 seconds after launch, and the instrument unit controlling the rocket eventually shut it down 6 minutes and 52 seconds in due to a drop in chamber pressure. However, then engine 3 shut down 2 seconds after that. The other 3 J2s managed the rest of the burn on their own, burning for nearly a minute extra. The third stage, consisting of a single J2, completed orbit, but it also had issues. It had performance loss and ultimately wasn't able to restart for the lunar equivalent burn. The launch was, in short, a bit of a mess, but the fact that the crew would have still reached orbit was quite encouraging. Mission Control had the CSM separate, boost itself up to the orbit it would have had after the abort burn, and the command module ultimately returned successfully. It was retrieved and it is currently on display in Atlanta. The problem with the second stage was due to an engine igniter fuel line that had gradually failed for engine 2, and because of a wiring fluke, the shutdown signal to engine 2 also caused engine 3 to stop. There are many other problems that had to be addressed, including the first stage pogue oscillations, which NASA had known about, had uh, done things to mitigate, but needed to do more of those things. And also the adapter's structure to reinforce it so it didn't have bits falling off. But NASA was nevertheless confident enough after this complicated result to not only launch crew on the next Saturn V mission, but send that crew all the way to the moon on Apollo 8. And so with that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Apollo 6.